שלום עליכם. Holy souls that we are, are here for a great purpose. We all came to this universe from the upper worlds, from infinity itself, that over there we were not dressed into bodies, we were spiritual and totally free from all kinds of shapes and forms. And we have been dressed into constricted bodies and each individual has a unique and special purpose in this lifetime that he needs to complete, to accomplish, to achieve. How will a person know what are his missions? What is his main challenge? The places that are hard, the places that are complex for him to confront, to deal with, those are the main things you need to focus and to find a way to correct. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to be hurt and that you need to suffer and that you need to bang your head to the wall and cry out from the pain. It means that you need to understand that in those painful places of your life, healing is required and you should transform all your painful life situations into prayer. The expression of the godly blessing and the blessed power that we have been blessed with by Hashem is the expression of our faith. When you're dealing with your life situations with the tool that is called faith, emuna in Hashem, then you are expressing the inner connection you have with Him, with the Maker of the universe, and by that you're able to pull down spiritual bounty, healing, and great spiritual godly success and corrections to those spots, to those areas that corrections are required for their completion, for their elevation. So when you are facing a situation that is complex, when you find yourself in a hard spot in your life, an embarrassing situation, the thing that needs to be done is prayer. You need to take that subject, you need to take that issue that is painful for you, that is hard, that is embarrassing, and you need to talk about it with Hashem. You go to a quiet place, you go to your own room, you take your mind elsewhere to a place where there is no noise, no distractions, and you just express your heart and you talk about your feeling, about your needs, with Hashem in your own language. You explain your heart. You talk about the truth. You're being honest and truthful with Hashem and you tell Him, I need your help. I need your support. And sometimes even when you're not able to talk and you try and you want to speak with Hashem, you want to pray but you don't find the words, you can talk about it with Hashem. You can talk to Hashem about anything, any side, any problem, any aspect of your life. Also on that side of not finding the right words to talk about with Him. You can tell Him for a whole hour, Hashem, I'm trying to pray and I cannot find the right words. Please Hashem, help me to talk to you. Help me to find the right words. Let me find the way to express myself in a way that I will feel the relief of sharing and expressing my heart. And also, Hashem, please answer my prayers. Please accept my requests. Please let me feel that you hear me. Let me feel that you care about my situation, about my life. And please help me and answer my prayers. Those simple words are the highest expression of the inner connection that you have with the maker of the universe. 
and yes, it's called Hitbodedut. Hitbodedut is a word in Hebrew that means to be alone, to be alone with the maker of the universe. And when you are alone with him, you can count on him. You can express your heart and you can speak from the bottom of your heart words that will shine. And words of truth will always be the words that will enter into the heart of the one who listens to you. So when you are being honest in your hit bodedut and you talk to the maker of the universe like you speak with your best friend, with someone you can trust, with someone you feel that you can talk to from the bottom of your heart, words of truth, your prayer will be answered. But we should all remember, sometimes time is required. Sometimes things takes time and we need to express ourselves in a longer way. And we should talk more about one topic and not that only one sentence or one word will be enough for our prayer to be answered. Sometimes we need to lengthen our prayers and we need to pray in a long way, sometimes for a few days, sometimes for a few weeks, sometimes for several months, and sometimes even years. It takes until the prayer is accepted and fully being answered. So don't be discouraged and don't give up and don't stop and don't give up on your dreams. And you should know that Hashem cares for you and loves you. And I will pray for you, I promise, for all my friends, students and followers, that all our prayers will be accepted in no time and that we will find our way to come closer and closer to Hashem and to rise and to shine and to bloom and to see all our dreams coming true in front of our eyes, around and surrounded with all our loved ones in our days. Amen. Ken Yehi Amen.